Hello, and welcome to Stop Fake News. I'm Jon McDonald, an editor at the Kiev Post, Ukraine's English language newspaper, and I'm pleased to be this week's guest anchor for Stop Fake News. On October the 19th, the separatist news website Ruske Vesna falsely reported that German Chancellor Angela Merkel had sharply criticized the Ukrainian government and that she had predicted there would be no future investment coming into Ukraine. The bogus news item was created by distorting a recent interview with her that is posted on her official website. But contrary to the Ruska Vesna report, during the interview in question, Merkel actually compliments the Ukrainian government, saying, Ukraine has a lot to do. The government headed by Arsenij Yatsenyuk courageously copes with its tasks. She also underscores Germany's large investment in Ukraine, while pointing to the work that still needs to be done. It is necessary to weaken the dominant role of oligarchs, to provide transparency and to fight corruption. These are very important framework conditions. Investors, including ones from Germany, the eighth largest investor in Ukraine, will pay attention to them. On October the 20th, the English language Russian news agency Sputnik published an article alleging that U.S. Assistant Secretary of State Victoria Newland had attempted to pressure the Ukrainian administration to dismiss the country's prosecutor general. The story was based on a claim made by former Ukrainian Prime Minister Mykola Azarov on Facebook. He wrote that Newland had demanded that Viktor Shokin, Ukraine's prosecutor general, be sacked after he recently declared that Russia had not been involved in the killing of Maidan protesters in February 2014. Azara's allegation about the connection between Shokin's comments and Newland's call for his dismissal was then picked up by other media. On October the 20th, Azarov wrote on his Facebook, It is symptomatic that as soon as the public prosecutor of Ukraine made his sensational statement, then Newland declared the necessity to get rid of the prosecutor general's office and replace it with a new institution. There is an impression that someone is very interested to cover things up in the Maidan case. Newland, however, made her statement about the need to reform the Prosecutor General's office before Shokin announced the lack of evidence of Russian involvement in the Maidan killings. She gave her comments on October the 8th before the US Senate Foreign Relations Committee, while Shokin's comments were from an interview published on October the 15th in the Ukrainian newspaper Facti. On October the 22nd, the Russian television network Zvizda posted a false report on its website claiming that Ukrainian Prime Minister Arseniy Yatsenyuk accused the leader of the Batkivshina political party, Yulia Tymoshenko, of sexual harassment. It claimed that the original source for the story was an interview given by Yatsenyuk to a journalist of the Russian service of Radio France Internationale, Elena Servetaz. Radio France International's Russian service, however, immediately denied that it had made any such report and condemned Zvizda for making up both the sexual harassment story and its coverage by RFI. Radio France International added that its journalist Elena Servetaz had not interviewed Yatsenyuk and none of its journalists had asked Yatsenyuk about his relations with members of Ukraine's parliament. A bogus photo depicting a Ukrainian soldier kissing an American flag has been spreading on the web over the last few months. The photo was disseminated before Ukraine's National Flag Day on August the 23rd and first appeared on a separatist news set website with an article entitled The Day of the Slave. The article and the photo were then reposted by other news agencies. The photo, in fact, has nothing to do with Ukraine. It was taken in 2010 in Tajikistan and the soldier kissing the flag is a Tajik official. The Ukrainian flag on his sleeve was later added by a photo editor and the photo was horizontally inverted. These are just some of the most recent bogus stories concerning Ukraine. To keep up to date with exposed fakes, please visit Stop Fake's website and also please let Stop Fake know about any reports you think need to be checked out or verified. I'm Ewan McDonald and I'm pleased to have presented you with some of this week's exposed fakes.